Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to present about a rare case report on Ross syndrome with uh, tonic people. Uh, to our OPD, a 27-year-old female visited uh, for an, in the view of her occasional headache, and uh, she has history of headache since five days, and it was uh, more in the evenings and release on taking rest. Patient has uh, no history of diminution of vision, and uh, the headache is not associated with any vomiting, syncope, or palpitations. There was no history of trauma to the head, spine, or ocular trauma, and uh, she was not in diabetic, hypertension, or bronchial asthma and thyroid disorders. No history of similar complaints in the past or uh, in the family. And on ocular examination, in the right eye and left eye, bo best corrected visual acuity is 6 by 6, with near vision N6. And uh, on slit lamp examination, anterior segment is normal in both eyes. Coming to the pupillary size, it was uh, 3 mm in the right eye and uh, 4 mm in the left eye, which was not reacting to the light. But on accommodation, it was reacting. And uh, the fundus is normal with the normal disc and normal foveal reflex. Coming to the systemic examination, cardiovascular, respiratory, and uh, gastrointestinal systems uh, have no abnormalities. But neurological system shows uh, sluggish, deep tendon reflexes. And uh, cutaneous examination shows there is hypohidrosis. And this patient was referred to the dermatologist and was opinion was taken for the hypohidrosis to confirm the case. And uh, it shows that uh, there is a triad of hypohidrosis, hyporeflexia, and uh, tonic people, which defines the Ross syndrome. This is the patient where uh, on the light, uh, on the direct light reflex, there is no, uh, the pupil is not getting constricted. But on accommodation, uh, we can see the pupil getting constricted to 2 mm. And uh, in on discussion, Ross syndrome is a uh, rare disorder which, which affects the peripheral atomic uh, nervous system, which is characterized by the triad of uh, tonic pupils, reduced or uh, loss of deep tendon reflexes, which is known as hyporeflexia or areflexia, and anhydrosis or hypohydrosis. This anhydrosis or hypohydrosis, which uh, likely to occur from the degeneration of sympathetic ganglionic cells or postganglionic projections, this tonic pupil occurs from the damage to the ciliary ganglion or uh, postparasympathetic nervous system. Tonic people produces variable anisocoria, which is worse in uh, worse in light than in dark. Uh, the pupillary reaction shows typically impaired to the light, but preserved to the accommodative reflex, which uh, is known as ne light near dissociation. In conclusion, if the patient, if any patient presents with an uh, tonic people, we shouldn't uh, uh, think. Uh, we should also think about this uh, raw syndrome, as the patient. Uh, we have to in investigate uh, systemically to no rule out other causes to refer to the neurologist.